being a Decepticon leader is just the best. I wonder what's on TV. Hello, Megatron. Uh, I was just watching the DFV channel, see? Every time you yell at your kids, put a quarter in your no yelling sock, and soon you'll have a weapon to beat. Lord Megatron, with all respect, were you watching some horribly edited parody that was supposed to be funny, but at the end of the day was very sad and cringy? Star Scream, if you tell us anyone, I will personally rip out your optics one by one until you're a pile of replacement parts. No, Lord Megatron, please! Jesus, can you guys quit it for one solar cycle? I'm trying to work on some important work here. Speaking of which, I've built a functional time machine. A time machine? Does it actually work? Well, I do have to be honest, that does sound interesting. Alright then, come with me if you want to see it. This is where all the magic happens. That's a nice watch I have there. I don't know you collected them. What did you just say? I said that you had a lot of watches around. There are timepieces! Jesus, show some respect! Hmm, well that's a weird way to classify them under. Shockwave, who's this? Hey, 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 don't touch! That's the timepiece god, Mr. Kirkendall! Mr. Who? Mr. Kirkendall, or some people call him Mr. K. He's the ultimate timepiece legend, who has collected every single timepiece ever, and is also one of the most smartest people in his history career. Ugh, he looks like a flashback to me, but he does have a sweet last name. <laughs> What's so funny? Timepiece? Who in the world would say that? Well, very educated people unlike yourself. So, Shockwave, when can we see these Dinobots you were talking about? Well, I still have to start up the machine. Hang on with Stinger for a bit while I get it up and running. What you playing there, kid? Oh, I'm just playing some Fortnite, Lord Mags. Well, you're not the first to tell me about this game. Zerker wanted me to check this out a few weeks ago. And since I'm here, what is this game all about anyway? Well, you see, Lord Mags, you have to kill people in a 100% free-for-all. And if you win, you obtain a battle royale. Jesus, I still remember the days when I was playing Cyberpunk with Orion. How far technology has gotten is crazy. This game sounds like a rip-off of winner winner chicken dinner. Well, to me anyway. So, uh, who are you playing as? I'm playing as the coolest character ever, John Wick. Isn't that guy? As some international assassin? Also, Lord Megs, after we get back from the Dinobot age, do you think we can watch a John Wick movie? Uh, sure, I don't see anything that's wrong with that. Lord Megatron, of all respect, do you know that John Wick is an R rated movie, right? And exposing that to Sting is brain chip, who knows what would happen? Uh, come on, it's just an R rated movie about an assassin. What could possibly go wrong? Everything that just came out of your mouth is wrong. You know how long it took me to explain the meaning of the pumped up kids song to him? Oh, yeah, all the other. Do not sing that song in my lab! Sorry, Shock. Oh, and also, Megs, if you show him that movie and he starts using no known words in my laboratory, I'm gonna grow a second eye and it's not gonna look pretty. Well, at least you would look normal. What did you just say? Look, Megatron. Alright, guys, stop horse playing around. Is the time machine up yet, Shockwave? Certainly. All systems are functional. I'll just have to press this button and we should be all instantly teleported. Alright, guys, here we go. <laughs> Hold on! Wee! Wah! Ah, uh, that hurt. Sorry about that, guys. My coordinates were slightly off. Slightly? That freaking hurt! At least we made it here in one piece. Lord Megatron, welcome to the prehistoric age. Holy sh- Shockwave, I got to admit, you have done it this time. Guys, look! Shockwave, I assume that you called that a Trisanotaurus Rex, right? Yes, Lord Megatron. They're one of the most feared creatures back in their day. I'm gonna ride in one of those like a horsey, Starscream. Stinger, that's a horrible idea. Wee! Stinger, get your tailpipe over here. Hi there, horsey! Grimlock, no horsey. King Grimlock, who dis? Hi there, my name's Stinger. Me, Grimlock, hungry. Let's feast on Squeaky Red Guy. This is not good. What the heck are we gonna do, Shockwave? I don't know, but we have to get out of here. Uh, guys, they're coming. Who's coming? Whoa! We have to get the scrap out of here. Guys, get to the portal now. Whoa! Whoa. Hold on. That was a close one. 
Jesus, Stinger, we almost died. Yeah, Stinger. What could have happened if you got attacked by that Dinobot? You could have died and put us all in danger. You're lucky that we all got out of there alive. Sorry, Lord Megatron. Well, on the bright side, we're all back in one piece. I can use the data that we acquired to make sure next time, if we do decide to go, that we will have the right safety precautions. Well, at least we know that. What the scrud? Shockwave, please tell me that's just one of your backup generators going haywire again. As much as I wish that would be the case, I fixed that issue a while back. But there has to be some logical reasoning behind this. Megatron! It's not possible. Is that the voice of God? Megatron, did you miss me? It's impossible! So that's the guy who got his face ripped off. My master, how's it possible? There is much you don't know about me, my apprentice. But I'm here because you broke one of the most crucial laws in the Decepticon handbook. When did we invest in a handbook? A long time ago. I honestly don't remember you ever talking about- Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, it's too late. Too late for what? You guys broke the biggest rule in the handbook. What, playing Fortnite? Uh, oh no, no, that's a close second. But time travel. Seriously, when I think you got your face ripped off, you must have gotten a few circus mixed up. It's over, Megatron. It's time for you to be tried for your crimes. What? Uh, I really don't want to go back to prison, guys. This is ridiculous! Enough! You already disgraced me enough today. It's time for your trial. What the? Jesus, these are tight! Well, if I'm going back to prison, I hope my roommate's not Mohawk. It's time to face your crimes. You can't do it! Attention all Decepticons, it's me, Megatronus Prime. It's the original Decepticon. How could this be? Your so-called leader, Megatron, has committed the highest crime in a Decepticon handbook, and now shall be tried to be permanently exiled from the Decepticon ranks, along with the cons that were involved in his time travel experiment. Lies! Now, does anybody want to defend Megatron before he gets exiled along with his friends? You know what, Fallen? Megatron's a great leader, and I don't care how many rules he breaks, you disgusting maggot. All oh, hail, Lord. Ah! Thundercracker, no! You can't just go around killing my Decepticons. Silence! You wanna be next, Megatron? Ugh. Who wants to be next? Get these excuses out of here. This is not right. You can't do this, I'm your Lord Megatron. Sorry, boss, but it's the Fallen's orders. I know this is not right, Lord Megatron, but we'll keep this place in your name under the Fallen's nose as long as possible. But before you guys let you go, let's cut those cuffs right off you. Ugh, that's better. Thanks, Nitro. Our pleasure, Lord Megatron, but we better get back before the Fallen catches us. You guys will come back, right? Payload, the Fallen is the strength of a god. I would need twice the size of the Decepticon army to even have a chance at stopping him. But I promise you that we will come back. Good luck, Lord Megatron. Lord Megs, where are we gonna go to now? Yeah, we don't have a base outside Decepticon HQ. Yeah, what's the game plan? Well, I know a guy who let us lay low for now. Decepticons, let's roll. Now if your leader gone, I shall reinvent a better version of him. That will lead you Decepticons into an age of glory. Introducing Galvatron, the new and improved version of your old crappy Megatron. Why does it just look like a truck? Galvatron, transform! I am Galvatron. I don't know guys, it's been a while since we conquered Autobots. Maybe it's not that bad. Are you crazy, Nitro? Megatron was the best Decepticon leader we ever got. And this knockoff Megatron can stick a stick right up his cyber exhaust port. You guys, we better get to barricade. You told me some news about this supposed handbook. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, fellow Decepticons, as swarming me as your new leader. And an oath to all of you is this, that we will cause the most collateral damage to any Autobot that we see, and that we will conquer this world. Thank you, thank you Decepticons. Now I'll be informing Galvatron on his new duties. Come with me, Galvatron. Nitro, Blackout, Payload. I'm in room D117, listening on what they're saying. Stand by with caution. Copy that barricade, Payload out. I can't believe you pulled it off, Master. It honestly wasn't that hard to pull off, Galvatron, but it came with a small price to pay. 
But honestly, Master, why'd you do it? Well, you see, Galvatron, the Autobots and Decepticons have been fighting each other for eons now, and one day they decided to create a peace treaty. And I not like this peace treaty whatsoever because it broke the Decepticon cause of conquering and destroying. So as soon as I saw an opportunity to accuse Megatron of something that he didn't, I did. And now if you at the helm, you'll be able to finish a Decepticon cause, my apprentice. So Megatron did not commit a crime after all. Of course not, but by putting fear into those miserable Decepticons by killing one of their leading officers, would let them kick out Megatron with no fight at all. And with all that out of the way, we can start phase one of four of taking over the world with the energy harvesting. I knew it. It was all set up to get Lord Megatron out so they could break the peace treaty. I'll meet you guys inside my bunker. Alrighty. We're here. Dang, that was a long drive, Lord Mags. Well, at least we got that out of the way. My servos are killing me. Lord Megatron, why'd you bring us to this bar? Is it to drink all of our problems away? How does a kid know that term? I brought you guys here to meet an old friend of mine. Let's go. Ah, oh, there he is. I thought I recognized that voice. What bring you to my pub, Megs? Well, it's a long story, but to condense it, we got kicked out of the Decepticon ranks by the Fallen. And to make matters worse, they replaced Megatron with a new con named Galvatron. They also killed my brother. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, partner. How about a round of drinks on me? Honestly, that wouldn't be that bad. So we are gonna drink our problems away. Cool! Stinger that is not cool whatsoever, and I'm gonna make sure you're getting a chocolate milk. Really, Sean? Chocolate milk? I'll let B take your orders. Sounds good, Lockdown. Thank you. My pleasure, partner. So what's the plan, Lord Megatron? Well, Shockwave, I currently don't have one. But I know for a fact that we have to stop the Fallen for sure, before he breaks the peace treaty. Well, at least we get to drink alcohol. It only looks like the adults are gonna be drinking the alcohol, not the kids. Sorry, Stinger. But Shock! No nuts, no butts, no coconuts, Stinger. Ah. I'm Bombi, and I'll be your server, uh, server, server today. Is something wrong, kid? Uh, no, 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 not at all. Let's start out with drinks. What would you guys all want? Can I have a beer? Oh, no, you won't. I just think the kid means he wants a chocolate milk. Huh. All right, how about you? I'll have one vodka, please. I'll have a beer. And I'll have, uh, just give me some ice water. All righty. Boss, of all respect, why do we have the Decepticon leader here? He's not a threat, B. Remember the peace treaty? Yeah, but what happens if he turns up trouble just like in Chicago? What do we do then? Trust me, B, he's changed for the better. I promise you that he and his Decepticons won't cause any trouble around here. How about Mixmaster? He's a Decepticon. You seem to be fine with him. How about Crowbar? He's also a Decepticon. You know what, Lockdown? You're right. I am just paranoid. I should not let the skeletons from the past come back. Thank you. As always, partner. Come on, Megs, you must have something in mind to get us back in. Yeah, you're Lord Megatron after all. You have to have something in mind. Yeah, you always led us to countless victories, Lord Megs. Well, this is the Fallen we're talking about. My master, he did not teach me all of his tricks. And with the support of the Decepticon army at his side, it's gonna be hard to take him down. And the Galvatron guy? Is he a threat? He just looks like a pile of scrap metal. I fought in the pits of Kaon to become the leader of the Decepticons, and I doubt he's got any experience whatsoever. All right, guys, your drinks are here. Mmm. This beer definitely smells good. I can't wait to zip this. Wow, it's warm. Thank you, B. My pleasure. Lord Megatron, you should make a toast. Uh, I don't know. I'll let Stinger do it. Sting, what should a toast be for? I say we should toast to kill the Fallen and reclaim Lord Megatron as the leader of the Decepticons. Hear, hear. Tripping the Fallen's face off just like in Egypt. I love the sound of that. Man, I needed that. Yeah, all the stress I had is now gone. Well, at least I got my mind off things. Guys, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, I'll take you. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, knockoff. Who are you calling a knockoff? Oh, Primus. You totally stole my design a few years back by modifying it and so calling it better in every way. And yet for you to steal it yourself and to call it a day after you killed me to go back to your original look, what are you insecure about your physical appearance? Is that why you always constantly switch to new cars? Stinger. You know what, that's for selling toys. Yeah! Ah! Bar fight. Ah! That's enough. Look, I know the Autobots and Decepticons had their feuds for the past few months now after the peace treaty, but we gotta look upon that. Here at Lockdown's pub, we're not seen as Autobot or Decepticon, but friends that work together to have a very fun time here and to enjoy ourselves overall. Come on, B. You're better than this. Sorry, Lockdown. It's just all the hate and all the people that have lost. It, it, it just controls me sometimes. Sorry, Stinger. Are you alright? I'm fine. Just a few dents, but nothing major. Sorry for bumping into ya. Alrighty, B. We'll have a talk about this later. Crowbar, could you clean up this mess, please? <sighs> sure thing, boss. Also, Megatron, if you guys would leave, you know, no offense. 
Nah, I get it, the tensions here are pretty high, and if me being here, it's not bringing them down any closer. Let's roll, guys. Also, before you guys head out, is there anything else you need? Well, actually, yeah. Do you know anyone who could help us by any chance, maybe like in combat training? Well, I would train you guys myself, but since I have to watch over my pub, I can refer your guys over to the ancient one. The ancient one? Yes. He's taught me all the combat skills that I know of. He lives up in the mountains in a cave. You know the one where he used to hang at? Well, thanks, Lockdown. That's all I need. And also thanks for the free round of drinks. My pleasure, partner. You'll see me soon, right? I will, Lockdown. Thanks again. Alright guys, our next plan of action is to go to some guy called the Ancient One, who lives in a cave in the North Mountain. Lord Megatron, did you drink too much? Yeah, 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 that's very reassuring, Lord Megatron. What is this, some Kung Fu Panda movie? You just have to trust me on this, guys. I know where it is. It's where me and Lockdown would take all the fembots to when we were in college. Lord Megatron, out of all people, you had a love life? Shut up, Starscream. Now let's roll, guys. It's gonna be a long drive. Well guys, it's what I feared. The Fallen is replacing Megatron with Galvatron so we could break the peace treaty to gain more territory. I heard rumors from the other Decepticons that we're gonna mobilize soon. Why am I not surprised? Well, do we have any plans to potentially stop this barricade? Well, actually, yes. The plan is to go to the stage and exclaim to the others what's going on. I know it's a big risk, but if we can pull it off, we may be able to stop the Fallen. I'll spy on the Fallen and Galvatron in case they get to the stage. All right, let's do it. Are we clear to go, Blackout? The coast is all clear. It just looks like they're talking. All right, let's go. Attention all Decepticons. We've been cheated and lied to by the Fallen. What's he talking about? I don't know, but he's on the stage. He has wrongly kicked out our leader Megatron for his own agenda. So he can break the peace treaty and take over the Autobots' land, along with acquiring more power. Together, if you join us to riot against the Fallen, we can bring justice and order to Decepticons once more. In the name of Lord Megatron. Lord Fallen, what's that noise? Ah, uh, as expected, they're gonna revolt. This won't be hard at all. Barricade, code red, they're- uh, Blackout, blackout! What the- Oh! You thought you could defeat me? Defeat the Fallen? Pathetic. Barricade! Ah! Uh. You Decepticons, I tried to do this the easy way, but now you're commanded by me. You really thought you could defeat us? Ah! Uh. You piece of Any last words? You really underestimated me. Yeah! Ugh, whatever. I got better things to do than fight someone who died by getting shot in the crotch. It was not just the crotch, but it was also the chest. Ugh, whatever. Barricade, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Somehow. Where are all the other Decepticons? I saw them leave the Fallen and Galvatron under his mind control. What's the plan now, boss man? There's nothing that we really can do, Nitro. We should probably lie low in my bunker for now. Let's roll. We're getting boxed in everywhere, boss. Get down here, knucklehead. Proceed further, we almost got it. Optimist that we should not make this beat free. I would have said the same thing, B, but the thing is that Megatron is not orchestrating this attack. And I've no clue the guy over there is, but for him breaking this peace treaty, I'm gonna take him out. Go get him, Prime. What? Who are you? And where is Megatron? Megatron is no more. I am Galvatron, your doom, created by the Fallen himself. Hmm, impressive. You have no soul. That is why I have no fear. You die. You are coming with us. I think they're going to kill us.
Lord Fallen, what are we gonna do with all these Autobots? We're gonna use them as our slaves to rebuild our empire. And Prime? Put them in an executioning cell. Jesus, that was a long climb. That's why you should have picked the flying alternate mode instead of that pathetic tank. Oh, shut up, Dorito. At least it wasn't as bad as the bar fight. Alrighty, guys, the cave should be just ahead. Ah, just how I remembered it. Lord Megatron, you said that you brung all of the fembots here. And with all respect, why does this place look like a horrible place for a date? Maybe that's the reason why it doesn't have a love life shockwave. <laughs> shut up, Starscream. Now let's get into that cave, guys. Wow, it reeks in here just like when Starstream got his coordination. When you and Shockwave were on vacation, Lord Megs. Coordination? What coordination? What? Uh, fun, funny story, actually. It was my, uh, b b b coordination, right, Stinger? Um... Why do I feel like you're feeding me a bunch of BS? You know what? Ah, my foot! Huh, ah, that reminds me of 1987. What? What do you mean? 1987? Uh, never mind that. It's when I was traveling to alternate universes. Who dares come to my cave? I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. I seek the help of the Ancient One. And why should the Ancient One help you? So I can train my comrades so we can take down the Fallen. The Fallen? Alright, I'm coming. But get out of my cave. Hey Shock, how much you want to bet that this guy's gonna look like some old hag? Stinger, that is very rude to talk about your elders like that. I don't know, man. I just hope he can help me train these chicken legs of mine. So I can use it more often, instead of just to run away like a coward. Alright, H and one show yourself. I was right! You were right about what? You look like an old hag! <coughs> Ow! Now that was very rude of you. Wow, out of all the many times I threatened to hit Stinger with the no yelling sock, I never would have. But seeing this, this, this is an eye opener. How is this an eye opener? You, 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 you know what, just never mind. So you want to defeat the Fallen, huh? Yes, that's why we came here, so we can train to take him down. Well, I can guarantee you it's going to take a lot more than just a few fighting tricks to take down the Fallen, but your hidden abilities probably will. <sighs> hidden abilities? What is this, Ninjago? Hidden abilities, you say? Very well, I'll give each of you guys your own analysis. You, step forward. Alrighty, I hope it gets something cool. Now stand still. I do have one question to ask to confirm my suspicion is correct. That is? Have you ever scanned a nerf alternate mode? I have not, but... Now point your gun towards that truck over there. Now do you see anything on your cannon that can make destroying that truck easier? No, but I still don't understand what this has to do with scanning in her vehicle mode. The reason why I ask this is because all Transformers are made for legendary MetTech system, but after they would scan in Earth vehicle mode, the system would be overridden. Well, if everyone had access to it in the war, why is it so legendary? It is legendary because only a few bots knew how to access it, while most never knew it existed, or even how to activate it. And I was only one of the few bots who actually knew how to use and activate it. Well, Mr. Jetfire, what weapon does Shockwave have? Well, let's see. Whoa, it's tingly! That's good. Now concentrate and shoot that truck. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Holy scrap! I could definitely get used to this! Damn! Remind me next time not to get on your bad side. Alrighty, it looks like I have to train you a bit on how to use the med tech more efficiently. You, step forward. Alrighty, let's see what I can do. Hmm, taking a look at you right off the bat. You have shoulder cannons, but do you ever use them? Uh, no, not really. Well, that's one of the very important gifts that your vehicle mode grants you. Here, go shoot those canisters over there. Alright, seems simple enough. Well, that was more satisfying than I thought. Why did I not use this earlier? Looks like I'll just have to help you with your aim slightly, and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, Sonny, you step forward. Ooh, I wonder what I get. Alrighty, just by looking at you, you're gonna need some serious firepower if you wanna have any chance against the Fallen. Here, take this. This is so much cooler than a Golden Scar. Not trying to be a shockwave here, but isn't that, you know, a little dangerous? Nah, Sonny, it's perfectly fine for kicking Fallen Tailpipe. It can also be used as a grenade if you press the button on the side and you toss it. Now, Stinger, go aim for the droid over there. You guys may want to back up. It makes a giant explosion. Alright, here goes nothing. Ah! Jesus! That almost blinded my optics. Pretty cool, right? I can't wait to kill the Fallen of this. You better use it as a grenade in the battlefield because there's no way. Yeah, we're not keeping that knowing how trigger happy you are. All right, looks like it's my turn. I hope I end up with something cool. All righty, looking at you right off the bat, you have any ranged weapons? I have this. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it, kid. Yet you turn into a fighter jet and you have no ranged weapons whatsoever. Well, I was actually upgrading his at the lab. Ugh. <sighs> 
All right, since you already have the upper hand in your flight capabilities, might as well give you this, since you have no ranged weapons on you. A regular blaster? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Well, I was hoping to get something. You should be grateful with what you have. Grateful? So you're telling me that Megatron gets shoulder cannons, Stinger gets the holy grail of all destructive weapons in the world, Cyclops in the meantime has a giant triple barrel, and the only thing that I get is a tiny little pea shooter? Gee, Starscream, maybe you should have picked a pathetic land vehicle instead of a flying one. Oh, shut up. Well, Starscream, you should learn that having a powerful weapon is not the same as having a skilled weapon. Take it like this. Let's say you have a missile launcher, eh? But every time you use it in combat, you miss. But when you have a small blaster, you land every hit perfectly. What weapon would you use? I see what you mean. I never look at it that way. If you can train me how to use this, then it would be very helpful. So Jetfire, when will we be able to start our training? Right now, but first I gotta put on some tunes. Why is that, Mr. Jetfire? It's because we're gonna do a day training, and it's all gonna fly by in around one minute. Because of this amazing song. Also, we're probably gonna get copyrighted while we're at it. Copyrighted? 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 Copyrighted. Oh, never mind that. It's just something I know. Trans theories? Why does it seem so familiar? Like in a dream I had once. It's probably nothing. It's just one of the few relics that I have. But enough about history. Let's start. Everybody is Looks like you're all in good shape to hopefully take down the Fallen. Man, I feel so alive after that. Man, I could take over the world. Well, I did not know being so accurate actually did have its benefits. I almost feel like an aimbot. Well, no matter how good we think we are, it's gonna be a tooth and nail fight to beat the Fallen. Not to mention along with Galvatron. I like your judgment, Megatron. I know you'll lead this team well. Also, I just have to ask, could you come with us to stop the Fallen? We could really use the extra help. I would, but I'm too old for this crap, Megatron. I'm slowly running out of energon to keep me alive. All in all, I'm too old, and I can't fight like I used to. Well, I can appreciate that. Thanks for everything. My pleasure. Alright guys, we got a long battle ahead of us. Let's roll. Your execution will be in two hours. Enjoy the little time that you have. Optimus is in a cell. We gotta break him out if we don't have any chance of getting the Autobots on our side, so we can take down Galvatron and the Fallen. Well, before we attempt to break out, we first gotta get Prime's weapons. I know where they're storing them. Follow me. Crud, looks like it's guarded. I can just blast him. That will cause more harm than good, Blackout. Here, I got a plan. We'll just walk right in, and when they notice us, you two will knock them out. When I get the weapons, and we put them on payload. Alright, payload transform so I can load these weapons on you. Here we go. All right, let's take the long path so nobody can spot us. All right, it looks like we're here. Nice work, guys. Now we just have to knock out the cell door. Leave that up to me. Uh. 
What the? Ah. 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 Holy scrap! Easy, Decepticon. I will kill you. Wait, we're just trying to help. And how would I not know this is not one of Galatron's many tricks? If this is one of Galatron's tricks, then why would we bring your weapons back? Thank you, but I'm just curious. Why are you four willing to help me? Because we want our leader back. After the Fallen took control, he made Galatron a new leader of the Decepticons. Along with brainwashing them all under his control. Come on! We don't have that much time. I know where the control panel is so we can release all the other Autobots from their prison cells. Let's go. Alright, I guess I'll let you do the honors. All units unlock. All units unlock. All units unlock. All units unlock. Decepticons, kill any Autobots that you see. Come on, Autobots, we do not have that much time. Get your weapons and move to the West Hall. We're all stocked up, boss. Alright, now you guys go make your way to the West Hall. Optimus, with all respect, why are they here? B, they were the ones who got us out of here. I know I judged them at first too, but without them, I would have been executed. It's gonna be a tough fight out there, bug. It's gonna be weird fighting with you instead of against. <clears throat> Just don't die, I guess. <laughs> die? Me? It's gonna take a lot more than an army. I'll see you on the battlefield, Barricade. Good luck, Decepticons. I'll see you on the battlefield. We better move, guys. The Decepticons are going to come any second. I know, but I'm going to stay here. Are you crazy? Barricade. You know, if they get you, they're going to rip you piece by piece until you're nothing left but a few bolts and a scrapyard. I know, but this is the only place to get a strong enough signal to contact Lord Megatron. Well, if you want to die, that's your problem. Good luck, Barricade. We'll see you on the other side, Barricade. Alright, Lord Megatron, please answer. My god. I haven't seen anything this bad since Tiger Pax. Lord Megatron, you're getting an incoming transmission. Barricade? Lord Megatron, I do not have that much time. Decepticons are gonna spot me any minute now. But to sum it up, the Fallen took control of the Decepticons, and the Autobots are helping us. And the Fallen's about to start the Doomsday Clock. You better hurry fast. We don't have that much time. Get here as soon as- uh, Barricade, do you repeat? Barricade! It doesn't really look good down there. Decepticons, we gotta move fast. Starscream, Stinger, Shockwave. You rendezvous with the Autobots. I'm going after Galvatron. Look, Megatron, are you sure you're not going to need any backup? The only one who has a chance to beat Galvatron or the Fallen is me. But you can't go after him alone. That's in order, now go! You really thought you could defeat me? Pathetic. Say goodbye. All hail Lord Megatron. How about you pick on someone your own size? Barricade, get out of here! Thank you. Ah, Megatron. I was wondering when you would show up. Galvatron, at the end of this day, one shall stand, and one shall fall. Ugh, now I sound like Prime. Primus, every time you think you killed one of them, you just keep getting right back up. Until Lord Megatron can kill the Fallen, they will lose their immortality and go back to normal. Shock, I need a little help here. You get away from him! <gasps> get off him, you little... Ah! This is not gonna end well. Sorry about that, Mindwipe. Are you okay, Shockwave? I'll be fine, I can rebuild my arm at the lab. But this battle is definitely far from over. <sighs> Megatron, any last words? Well, I have a few. Oh. 
Jetfire? Yes, Sonny, it's me. Now get up. This war is far from over. It's great to see you again, and thanks for the save. My pleasure. Now let's go after the Fallen. No, Galvatron! Jetfire, look out! What? Now that inconvenience out of the way, I can start up this machine, and this planet will be dark forever. No! Jetfire, speak to me! Ah, uh, Megatron. The only way to st stop the Fallen is to destroy that machine. But you can't do it alone. You're gonna need to use your skills and your teamwork to stop him. I will. I won't let you down. And also, Megatron. Yes? Kill that mother. <sighs> Trust me, I sure will. 56% remaining. Guys, I think we should check on Lord Megatron. Yeah, I agree. I have not heard a signal from his location since. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Well, he said he was going to take on Galvatron, so my best bet would be that tower over there. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Guys! Lord Megs! Think promise you're alive, I thought you were dead. Where's Starscream? I'm right here, Lord Megatron. Did you kill Galvatron? Not exactly, but he is dead. I'll answer all your questions after we get rid of the fall. Now first, we have to destroy that machine. Might as well attack the support beams. It's the only chance we got to destroy that machine. Hasta la vista, baby. What? Megatron? The Fallen can appear anywhere, so keep your guard up. Ah! Stinger! Yeah! Ugh. Why can't you die? How about you fly? Put me down! Of course. Where are you hiding, Megatron? Right here. Stinger, do it now! Ah! Here goes nothing. No! I'm gonna kill you. You're so weak. Ah, what the man? I have a horrible headache. And stay down. Autobots, the Fallen has been killed. We can stop attacking now. Take our Fallen soldiers back to base. Is he actually dead? I know, I can't believe it either. Hmm, just by looking at his body, we can use his carbohydraulic energy to restore us and revive us. So then like Terracons? No, not like that, but go over there and get me a specimen. Okay. Now push the top part of it up and slide it forward. Like this? Precisely. Now aim it at me and hit the red button on it as hard as you can. I'm just saying up front, if this kills you, it is not my fault. Oh, you do not know how much I missed you, Righty. Why aren't you celebrating, Lord Mags? Honestly, Stinger, this does not seem like the end. This felt too easy in a sense. But I guess there's no trouble in celebrating. Come on, Stinger. Let's go. And you're saying using this can revive the dead? Yes, all you have to do is push the top part, slide it forward, and then hit the red button inside. Well, thank you, Shockwave. This will definitely come in handy. All right, Autobots, transform and roll out. Attention, all Decepticons, the Fallen is no more. And it's time to rebuild what got destroyed, starting with Thundercracker. Starscream, may you do the honors. My pleasure, Lord Megatron. Ugh. Wait, wait, what? What happened? I'll tell you all about it later, bro. And our next step is to create a new base. Decepticons, transform and rise up. <laughs>